not selected as a Western Conference All-Star I'd Reserve, be. right? But uh, he's still the talk Let's of the Let's talk fans. about it. First quarter, he's going to take the feed from Ricky Rubio, and despite contact, he's still going to get it to go. They're not the most graceful. Huh? And then Tough. you love that move. I mean, That's sensational. There's just under. not a lot of big guys that can show you the strength and the willpower like this, Jeez. but also the up and under on that finish, the one we saw before. He was um, he had a game out. high 33. He was four of six from the perimeter. They don't get the win. Look at, now look at the way he, he comes off the screen there like like a Reggie Miller comes off a screen. Looking for true it. jump shot. Yet most of the threes we see him take are that glorified set shot. Right. That was in rhythm. It's all, it's, it's all rhythm with him. It, like a lot of great players. Mm. It's not a specific set way. A guy like Clay Thompson, sure. He's got a specific way he's hoisted up literally millions of jump shots in, in the course of his oh, yeah. training to get to where he is at, at this juncture of his career as the, the sharpshooter that he is. But for Carl Anthony, Anthony Towns, it's more of a, a feel. And sometimes it's that kind of fall into the set shot. Sometimes it's falling away and get a little bit more elevation. Sometimes he's got to finish with grace around the rim. Sometimes it's just a thunderbolt coming right at you with the the aggression that he finishes with. So the fact that he's got a little bit of everything and all those different tools very well sharpened within that tool belt, that's impressive. He's got a very, very uh, diverse mm. arsenal of offensive moves, and that's why it's such a snub that he's not going to go down to NOLA and be part of that All-Star game. I, I don't understand that, frankly. I, I think he's the best big man in the game. Yeah, well, DeMarcus Cousins, CT picks him. But, I mean, yeah, you're right. He's on the short list of guys that you have to discuss, and yet he's not even a reserve to go to. Rather astounding. He reminds me so much of Boogie Cousins, but for me, he's just, he, his head is in a better like, place. Like Boogie White, because he's not. Yeah. Right? Uh, ex we talked about happy-go-lucky. I mean, it's more of a, uh, when he's pissed, he's able to funnel that more, and, and when you know, he, he just doesn't seem as easily distracted as DeMarcus Cousins. And Good way to put it. That's the situation. But we're seeing Minnesota, they're, they've underachieved all year. They've not been a very good team. A lot of people thought they'd be competing oh, for a playoff spot. They I, are not. I, I thought for sure they would with that's that talent. That's got to be frustrating, yet it doesn't seem to really uh, filter into the way Big Cat's playing. No. He's playing his ass off. Where 33 Bogey, tonight, they couldn't get the W. They've underachieved in Sacramento, and yet, you know, it seems to affect him more. Uh, similar type guys, as far as I'm concerned. If I could only have one, and it's not just the age saying this because, you know, Towns is a lot younger. Even if they were the same age, I'd prefer Carl Anthony Towns right now just wow. because of the fact that his mental state seems to be more stable for leading a team. Let us know what you think. Use the hashtag 120talk. Who would you rather have? Best big man in the game. Is it Cat? Is it Boogie? Or is it Ant Davis? You can decide if you have another... Name Talk you want to throw Kentucky. in there? Joel Embiid? Talk throw Kentucky, him in there. Uh, right? Kentucky big, big Redwoods. Pedigree. 